everyone, apart from the giraffes, knows that their long journey is finally at an end. We have to open, stop. We have to open the door first, Alan. There's no time for hesitation. The longer they're inside, the more chances of an accident. Kennedy, you come out. Out. Let us pull. Have the bars all gone? The bars are all gone. The team creep back so the nervous giraffes can see it's clear ahead. Come on, Melvin, be the man. Melvin and the others make their move. Come on. Well done, guys. See them all go through there, guys. When it happens, it's amazing. All the guys we've worked with, it's been an amazing effort, you know, and super proud. Super proud that we've been able to do an amazing job together. We are feeling great. This is a great success. All the animals are released. They're all alive. No problem. Giraffe after giraffe runs off into a new life. team can finally celebrate. In this historic moment, Dr. Andrew Seguya, the head of the Uganda Wildlife Authority, has come to join them. I'm very, very proud of them. Look at them. These guys have worked for the last three weeks. They have put in everything. They have left their families. They have come here. They have slept in the bush. They have, most important, they have shown the love for the giraffe. They have handled them with a lot of care, with a lot of love, with a lot of professionalism. I'm very, very proud of them. But also, it's really one of those exciting days for conservation. This is just the beginning. The Ugandan team will now continue their mission to save giraffes and other endangered animals across the entire country. For Julian and Steph, it's a very personal moment. After 15 years of hard and dangerous work, they can finally see the tide starting to turn. If you had that moment every day, I don't reckon you'd be able to uh, sustain yourself. My heart wouldn't be able to survive, let's be honest. Melvin was the funny one with the funny lips. I miss him now, <laughs> but at least he's not in a zoo. We did that. We actually made a difference here. And I think that is something really amazing, and not too many people can say that in their life, that they actually have made a difference. Over the coming months, the giraffes range far and wide. The readings from their GPS collars show them traveling hundreds of kilometers as they explore their new home. The team are planning more translocations to further swell the colony. And soon, they hope that new giraffe calves will be born on both sides of the Nile. Across the continent, Julian and the team are working closely with African governments and the people who live alongside these gentle giants to secure a better future for all giraffes.